Thank you to Paradox for sponsoring this video. Boom. So here we are, we're back on Mars again. We are zooming around. The colony has grown quite substantially. We have a whole host of domes set up, uh, including the ice fort, which seems to be a bit of a mess. Uh, it does You don't want to live over here in ice fort. It is constantly getting frozen. It turns out uh, ice is a massive problem on this map. Uh, not not going all that well. Um, but everyone else seems to be seems to be pretty Cable good. Fault reported. Oh, these guys, they want to they want to leave. But we're kind of running out of metal a little bit. We've got a few little metal deposits around here where these guys are looking after. Um, but there's more metal up in the north. And I kind of... I kind of want to try coming up here. Like, there's like an average metal deposit there, a low one there. Ugh. Low there. And I thought I thought it was like a very, a very high... Oh, very high rare metals. Ooh. So, yeah, we might, we might come up there, um, have a look around. So first up, we're going to build ourselves a tunnel, assuming that we can actually get uh, power to it. So we, we can run power cables and the like. Man, it requires a lot, of, a lot of junk, but it means that we're not building through there. Is this really worth it? Maybe not. But, you know, we get a tunnel, which is cool. Who doesn't want tunnels? I love tunnels. Uh, so you can definitely tell that this is this is my colony, as it is it is riddled with issues. There's a, we have a lot of problems going on right now. Um, things could be going a little bit better, Funding but received. oh, we got some money, nice. Um, but it it seems to be okay. We're kind we're kind of like producing some stuff. These guys, they're making some electrical parts, and are they going mad? They're a little bit mad. They want, to, they want to do some shopping. So, we, in this area, we've had to build a whole load of subspace heaters. And, um... Oh, not there. Over here. You can see, like, the thawed patches. There's a lot of them. They're, like, overlapping each other to try and save each other from the cold. Because even the things that create heat can, can freeze over if they run out of power. That's a mistake I've been making quite a lot. Oh, we are low on power right now, but that's because it's night time, and we've we've really invested heavily into. We've gone hard on the, the shields. They're not shields, but <laughs> solar panels. Close enough. Uh, we are really low on metal uh, since like our last two metal places closed down. We need to be over here. I'm reluctant to build. I kind of kind of should have built this guy up a little bit further. Ugh. Uh, because it's very high grade metal, but he can't reach it. Like we could, man, it's really frivolous to build a, a whole dome just for, just for that. But maybe we could, cold terrain, sure. Like we'll we'll just let him get to it. We've got a whole load of drones. We've got quite a lot of concrete. It'll use up a lot of our metal. Polymers, okay. If we can do that, get some houses in there. We'll just. Shipping a whole load of just goons, passengers, matching colonists, thirty-five. Let's just let's just start launching some rockets. Passengers, launch. Passengers, launch. Right, we've got, we've got a whole load coming over, and we've got houses all over just in case there's a bit of overflow. Oh no! Okay, so the mega cold snap has come. This is not what we wanted. Uh. Generally, everything goes pretty badly when the cold snap turns up. All my water freezes. Everyone gets sad. People start to panic. Um, someone, someone got like trapped outside earlier, like somehow and suffocated. I'm out of the dome. Fresh air, freedom. That wasn't a good way to go. Bam! Martian Institute of Science. Yes. Like more tech is more good. That's the way I always see it. Okay, so it's it's pretty cold for a couple of days, but we should be fine. Um, what are our guys up to? Do we have any like stuff stuff to look at? There's stuff up there. So we have a, like a whole load of drones right now, or uh, explorers, because there's a tech that let you kind of get more more research if you had more more explorer guys. And I was like, man, 
If you invest now, you could reap the rewards for a long time, but it doesn't entirely work that way. They have like diminishing returns, which wasn't wasn't super good. Ugh, okay. Bad place to land a passenger rocket. They're gonna have to run really far. Are they... These guys, are they gonna make the run all the way across? Holy shit. Oh man, I'd be so annoyed. You like land in your rocket, you've just come like millions and millions of miles. I don't really know how, how many miles. It must be millions, surely. Um, and... Cable fault reported. Then you, you've got to run. You've got to run like five miles to, to get over here. Resources are low. Probably isn't five miles. Anomaly analyzed. Ooh. But they're here. They did it. They landed. Uh, a metallic spheroid. <gasps> it's, the, it's the sphere from the abyss. Or the sphere from the sphere. Maybe. One or the other. Uh, a half-buried sphere. Okay. It's very reflective. That sounds, that sounds lovely. Where is it? Oh, it's this guy. Oh. Set I thought that was just like a, Anomaly like a, found. like a rocky outcrop. Right. We, okay, right, sure. There's a giant sphere under the ground. Oh, uh, this is, this is probably going to be like the quest. Metal's got us in like a real, real chokehold right now. Uh, we can't repair half of our stuff and like the moment power goes off, ugh, it's, it's a nightmare. Ah, oh, okay, right, the, the extra dome. This will just be like, you know, metal dome. Uh, oh, I have to wait for it to actually be finished building before I can name it. Shit. Oh, the thunder dome, bam. Cause this, this thing kind of looks a bit like the thunder dome. Like the big sort of like the, the met metallic structure. And maybe this guy can be the thunder dome. Thunder dome two, beyond the thunder dome, nice. And they can start taking advantage of this stuff. Very high is pretty good. Uh, metal extractor. Easy money. We have a power shortage. Uh oh. Oh no. Power. We need power. Um. Oh, luckily everything thawed. Oh. Okay, but we really need metal. If all of my power goes off by here, it's really bad. Um, yeah, man, we we need to get our power grid back up line, up line, online. Because if the ice ice place goes goes under, ugh, you don't you don't even want to know how much of a pain that is. Uh, building in the snow, not so good. How, like, how do people do it? Do you know how do they like people that live in Canada? It must be as cold here as it is in Canada, or you know Norway, or any any of those places. But now that we've got our, like, the good, like, the metal ship turned up, I think it has saved us, at least short term. Especially while we get this Sector place scanned. up and Anomaly running. Found. How are we doing for polymers? Not great on polymers, or machine parts. We might need to, like, get, just order another uh, cargo ship. We're gonna build a, like, a bigger dome. We have a power shortage. Uh-oh. Don't say that. So we need 25 polymers for that. 80 metal as well. Uh, domes don't have power. That's really bad. Uh, oh no. Incoming. And a meteor. Shit. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh. I think a meteor like came in and dinked, complete. dinked the dome. Oh, so we can like we can scan this thing. Attempt to communicate. We tried interacting oh. with it, oh, which shit. triggered some sort of response. The sphere isn't dormant anymore. Oh, hello. Um, we detect very weak but low frequency. Oh, the sphere begins charging. That's some Bay movie material right there. Uh, uh okay. Um, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. I'm telling mom. Our test results tell us the sphere accumulates energy by absorbing radio waves. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, radio waves. It's charging still. Perfect. I hope it doesn't attack. We have a power shortage. No. Uh -oh. Power's off again. That's no good. Um, we should really like be tackling some of these issues. Um, I think that dome is using up like lots of power 
How's metal? Okay, right, metal's metal's coming in. Uh, let's get let's build some more power. Turns out you can always have more power power things. Okay, hopefully the drones will build those. That should stop us having constant power issues. Uh, get out of here, everyone else. What's this guy doing? No, oh, he's still just charging up. Attempt to pierce the shell. Uh, oh, I guess we could do. Um, oh A man, wait. Has died. Uh oh. How did they die? Suffocating. Oh shit, because they turned the power off in their thing. Fuck, I didn't realise. Oops. Um, also, these guys don't have a way to get food. So we'll give them a diner. Oh man. That'll be the memorial diner. Uh, and, right, everyone build these things quickly. Gotta try and do a little bit better than we are, as it's not going super well. Um, and we've got a giant sphere to worry about. What's up with that? What are you doing? What did the sphere do in sphere? It like mind controlled like a squid or a whale or something. Wasn't that it? Or was that the abyss? I always forget. I always kind of get those two movies confused. They, they were... I watched them at very similar times to each other. How are we doing? We've got a bit of everything. Everything's fine. Uh, there's just some minor problems. Some teething problems. But you always get that, you know. Whenever you move to a new planet, there's always going to be a few teething problems. Don't worry about it. Uh, oh! Oh my god. Holy shit, Renegade stole apples. Well, maybe apples. Probably apples. There's little pictures of apples. Man. What a bunch of jerk holes. I guess, you know, people are always going to rebel a bit when they're not having a huge amount of fun. They're just being forced down into, like, the, the mines. Hmm. That guy's still powering up. We have a food. Our colonists are starving. Uh-oh. Where? Oh, it's just, like, no food being delivered here. We should have a lot of food. Here, we've got, like, 700 food. Um, right. Magic food delivery truck. Come and get some food here. Om nom 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 nom. And come and cable fault reported. Drop it off around here. Okay, now hopefully help helpy helpy Henderson the drone will come and deliver some some food to you. We have a power shortage. Shit. <laughs> uh. Okay, right. It's every night time, we kind of um, we we kind of turn off. Uh, you know, everything can, kind of goes to shit a bit. Uh, man, maybe we need like better, better generators. Cold wave approaching. Uh oh, cold weather. That's no good. We have a power shortage. Uh oh, the power's we gone off. Water oh no. <laughs> uh. Resources are low. Oh, wait. Power coming back. Okay, power's back. Some stuff is freezing. Some of our water tanks have all frozen up. That's fine. It's okay to have a little bit of freezy. Uh, just not too much, hopefully. Um, and what is this guy up to? He's kind of like, sort of coming out. Oh man, there's actually like a proper like reflection in there. That's cool. Oh, someone stole some metal from Ice Fort. What's going on up here? How much more stuff do they need? Uh, some metal and some concrete. They've got resources are low. Kind of, kind of a bit of that. Um, is that metal? Oh yeah, there's loads of metal here. We are importing a whole load of people just to work, just get straight into those mines. Um, have a food depot as well. Uh, they might all go crazy. We have a power shortage. Uh, we've got power problems. That's fine. Um, don't worry about it. New colonists have arrived. So I think we just got like forty new colonists, give or take. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. We have a water shortage. Oh shit! Everything's freezing. Um, shit! This is really bad. Um. Uh, our, our drone drone port has is gonna freeze unless we oh no oh the power's back did anyone freeze oh it came back just in time thank God 
That could have been really bad. Okay, right. You guys. I want people working round the clock. Sweet. That's a, that's a lot of extra extra metal. Uh, and maybe even... We have an oxygen shortage. We Ooh. have a water shortage. Ooh. That's no good. Um, it might be worth investing More in more active research. wind research complete. wind guys uh, as they're known in the science business um, as geez uh, power power is a problem a colonist has died uh oh oh no I think yeah I think people are not happy in um, being transported here forced to work in the mine and yeah, they're, they're, they're having, having a bad time of it. Uh-oh. And we have a giant metal sphere over here as well. Like, what the hell? What are you doing? Can you can you come and, like, investigate it more? These guys are all just frozen. Oh, and this dome is done. Okay, maybe that's what we is causing us shortage. more power problems. We have a water shortage. And water problems. Uh, do we, do we want to, like, pipe all the way to the main place? What's this? Average water. There must be like some water nearby here somewhere. What's like the nearest water supply? Oh shit, there's nowhere nearby. A colonist has died. Uh oh. That's bad. Let's just let's just start getting some pipes down. Uh has everything frozen now? Shit, it has. Ugh. People keep stealing apples from Adams over there. Okay, well, so nothing's going to work, as you can tell from all of these these buttons. Um, my God, I think we're gonna have to come. We're gonna have to come back and pick this up next time. See ya.